The U.S. men's national soccer team returned to the World Cup for the first time in eight years. They went up against Wales, starting out strong in the first half, but Wales came back in the second, ending the game in a draw. The U.S. plays again on Friday, going up against England, but amid the cheers and excitement of the matches of this year's tournament, there's also deep controversies and calls for activism. ABC's Will Reeve has more from Doha. Will, good morning to you from, from here, at least. I know it's not morning for you, but... We've seen Iranian players specifically taking somewhat of an activist role on and off the field. Uh, they did not sing their national anthem. What are you seeing from players to try to bring attention to various causes there? Yeah, that's right, Diane. Before England and Iran played yesterday afternoon here in Doha, England captain Harry Kane was wearing a FIFA armband instead of the rainbow armband that he had uh, said that he was going to wear, that certain Europeans were going to wear. That was a FIFA decree. And then the Iranians didn't sing their national anthem, which was a pointed silent protest while fans in the stands were wearing shirts that said women, life, freedom in support of the Iranian protest movement. And then really importantly, after the game, the Iranian captain said in a press conference something in reference to the protest movement. And I'll quote, I want to say condolences to all the grieving families in Iran we are with we want them to know we are with them and by their side and share their pain that is a brave statement from the captain of the iranian national soccer team it sure is and i want to talk about this game between the u.s and wales uh well it came down to the very last minute uh lots of games are making headlines now argentina is a favorite to win the entire world cup but it suffered a huge upset in its opening game one of the biggest ever um so talk us through some of the highlights of the sports themselves, these games that are sticking out to you, and what happens now for Team USA? Yeah, there is actual soccer being played amid all the controversy, amid all the issues that have existed for 12 years in the run-up and seem to be popping up by the day here as the World Cup is actually being played. But as for the soccer, we'll start with the U.S. game. Big, great crowd. The Welsh were fired up. The Americans were fired up as well. We were lucky enough to be in the building to see Timothy Weah score a goal set up by superstar Christian Pulisic. The USA looked like they had it in the bag. The men's national team firing on all cylinders, but then a penalty in the box in the 82nd minute just before the game was going to end, hopefully 1-0 for the U.S., then Wales tied it up, and that makes things a little more complicated for the U.S. to advance out of their group into the knockout stage. They do still have two games remaining. And then Leo Messi and Argentina losing today, one of the biggest upsets in World Cup history, Diane. Now we're looking at a picture of Messi with both hands covering his mouth. I think the world was feeling that way, or at least anybody who was watching that game. Will Reeve from Doha, thank yeah. you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.